Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to jump right into the tutorial. We're going straight to the mannequin head. Today I teamed up with IDN and they sent over this beautiful like curly bob wig. I'm going to show you how I went ahead and customized this on the mannequin head before we started off. We are going to do something special in the parting and you guys are going to love it. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it. You can check this wig out in the description box. Of course, there's a direct link with all the details. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, ladies, jumping right into it. This is the packaging for IDN. They did include some goodies, including this dust bag. They also included these HD wig caps, which you guys know are the bomb, as well as the wig grip. I haven't used one in a while, so we're going to be using one today. They also included three samples of their True Scalp tape. I love this stuff, and I'm going to show you how I apply this as well. And then this is three samples of lace here, light brown, medium brown, and dark brown, so you can know what they offer this is our beauty here and as you guys can see we're going closure five by five pre-cut lace closure wig we're going for a glueless install and it does include an adjustable elastic band as well as a breathable cap so i'm going to flip it inside out and apply it to a wig head as you guys can see you can already see this one's going to be beautiful because it's already pre-plucked now here i am with the scalp tape they provided in three shades the lighter one was just way too light so i immediately eliminated it and here i was trying to decide which one between the medium and the dark i went medium but obviously i can also use the dark one as well i just wanted to kind of mimic natural scalp where it'll go like a shade lighter i'm going to do a center part today so i applied it to the center and you can tell because of the way the wig cap is, you can see those strips in the middle. The middle strip kind of mimics where the middle of the cap is, obviously. So it was easy to gauge where to apply it. I took my time and I was able to put it down. It's really sticky. So if you mess up and you get like bubbles, you can kind of lift it and reapply it and it'll still be sticky. Now I'm going to apply the wig grip they provided. It's obviously too light for my complexion. You'll see exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the wig on, so try her on for size. And that's when I noticed it was way too light. So I'm just going to use the typical foundation powder I would use to tint my lace. Apply it on top, and as you guys can see, it takes the color very well. So if you pack that color in, it can pretty much be customized to your complexion. Here is what the wig looks like on, as well as a look at the back of the wig this one is absolutely gorgeous it's eight inches in length 180 percent density we're going with a kinky curly texture and it also has those four c edges so i'm going to step out that center part since i decided to go center part and pull the hair back and we're going to spend a moment just focusing on those edges so with these 4C edges, I like the fact they're not too coarse and they're not like too locked up. So it was easy just to kind of trim them down to a length I like. And then I went in with the wax stick and the electric hot comb. You guys already know the dynamic duo is going to get me there as far as making sure the wig looks laid. Like you can have all the curls and all the edges you want, but if it's not laid, uh-uh. You cannot say you are done or that your wig is it. So I went ahead and laid it with the Dynamic Duo. Now I'm taking the Nairobi Mousse and I'm going to use a finesse. And basically I'm going to just apply a generous amount of this mousse to the hairline. And this is going to kind of like help me to tame and swoop the baby hair exactly how I want it. Since this one already fit glueless, I did not feel the need to bond it down or add any even product to it. I wanted to keep it 100% glueless, but I wanted to find a way to melt the lace in. And then I rubbed mousse worked perfectly. And then I added just a little bit of edge control to slick down the front. And I think that worked perfectly. The baby hair is very slick down and it has a nice soft texture to it so it's not like too coarse. And then I went in to tint the lace. I did add a concealer to the parting as well as um, a foundation powder to the hairline. And as you guys can see, that foundation powder works perfectly to pretty much blend it all together. Keep in mind, it's 100% glueless, like not a single thing was bonded down. I went ahead and blended everything in with a clean towel. And now we're just going to work on the ends. They also did include a coupon code for you guys, so check the description box for that and you can get a good amount of money off. 
I'm going to use this Mayel leave-in conditioner. I find it at Target. It's very thin because it's a leave-in, so be careful not to pour too much. So I applied it until I got enough, and then I went in with this spray bottle and just wet it down to kind of spread that product around, and I love the way it came out. You guys know I'm going to always use my dimming brush to go in and make sure everything looks amazing. There is a direct link to this wig in the description box. Her name is Harper, and she is a wear-and-go glueless kinky curly bob love the way she came out five by five closures are the bomb you go they're my favorite this one is absolutely beautiful okay guys are we feeling it i know with me personally sometimes i get like a little bit i'm not gonna say self-conscious but i'm just not used to seeing myself with these shorter cuts so sometimes i get a little bit like should I add some hoop earrings? I haven't necessarily been missing them, but having a shortcut makes me feel like I need some hoops or something. No! Having a, having a, I was gonna say five, having a six year old and an eight year old who like to game. Don't you slam my door and I'm not playing. Close it gently and still be quiet. Having a six year old and an eight year old who enjoy gaming has definitely been a task or a challenge since they are home for um, the summer. This one here comes from IDN, I Define Natural. You guys already seen the packaging and the unboxing. They did load us up with some goodies, but the most important things were um, the tape, the True Scalp tape. Um, you guys seen they did give me three options and I went for the medium color. The dark, the lighter color was just way too light for my complexion, but I'm glad they gave it because if I was going to put this wig on someone else or if you purchase and you're more fair complected than me, that would be a perfect color. And then the darker one, I feel like it was maybe my skin tone, maybe deeper. Um, I don't know. I got to look at it in the camera and see sometimes you think like, oh, it's darker than my complexion. Then you look in the camera, you're like, oh, no, it actually is my color. But you guys know sometimes with your parting, the hairline, you want it to be your exact skin tone. But the parting, typically you want it like a shade lighter or so so it can like not necessarily stand out. But like your scalp is usually a little bit lighter than your skin. So to make it look a little bit more natural, the medium color seemed to be the perfect color. And that definitely was so. And then I also did use the wig grip. Now I hack with that. They gave me a lighter color, which means if you purchase this um, situation, you definitely will. If you are like fair complected or lighter complected, the wig band will be the perfect color for you but you guys can see I customized mine by adding a powder to it so that it matched my complexion and so it worked out perfectly because I would tint it anyways and now as I wear it like I can wear it you know throughout the entire time I wear this wig but I can also wear it with other units as well it works out perfect because now it's customized to my skin tone so if you buy this wig and you get the wig band and it's too light just go ahead and add your powder and you see how well it works to go ahead and just custom match your skin tone and so once i put the wig on I, obviously i realized that i put the wig or the true scalp tape a little bit too far forward but i was confident that the lace was beautiful enough the hairline was beautiful enough and then once i went in and just added my powder to to perfect blend it to my complexion i knew that it, we were going to be good and we definitely are it did come with the curly baby hair and you guys can see how i put my little zhuzh on it i feel like when you do baby hair and you have a closure it kind of will give the illusion of a frontal which is absolutely perfect but this one did come out beautiful i don't have any complaints it definitely was easy to like install and style but this one is glueless i'm afraid to lift it because i love how good the baby hair looks but it's 100 percent glueless we did not bond it down at all and it is a beautiful cut you can definitely customize this one and play with it to your liking um and i love it so i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go be sure to check out idn direct link to this wig is in the description box Thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!